It is time for the Painter Channel News Evening Report, 6.30 p.m. report. Sunday, September 14th, 2014. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins, and here's what's happening in the world of news. Here, our top story at 6.30 is... In London, where British Prime Minister David Cameron held an emergency meeting on Sunday of his military security chief to the behead of a British aid worker calling the Islamic State militant monsters. In a speech about ISIS last week, President Barack Obama said American military power is not a match, but this can't be America's fight alone. Independent Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont got right into point with Chuck Todd to meet the press Sunday saying he needs thinking about running for president. Jack Ma has recently started a translation company to capitalize on China's export boom when he was in the United States as part of his translation business. A friend showed him in the internet. Oh dear, Kanye West had a rather embarrassing moment on stage at the recent concert in Australia. The hip-hop star stopped the music and tried to coax the fans to stand up for him at the show which took place on Friday in the contest's credit union arena. Several Arab countries have offered to join the U.S. in bombing Islamic State militants in Iraq and potentially in Syria, according to the U.S. Matthew Mill, a U.S. citizen, sits on a dock at the Supreme Court during his term Pyongyang, North Korea, on Sunday as he was sentenced by North Korea to six years of prison labor. Hurricane Adal is in the eastern Pacific Strait to a powerful Category 4 storm on Sunday as now President in Baja, California. The next Ukraine heavy fighting broke out this Sunday between Ukraine and rebel forces on the north side of the Donetsk, killing at least six people in one of the most serious clashes at the 10-day-old ceasefire came into force. In Stockholm, the left-leading opposition looked like a clear winner in Sweden's election Sunday, but without a parliamentary majority in exit poll, it showed. In Bloomingdale, Pennsylvania, investigators on Sunday returned to a scour of the woods across from a state police barracks where two troopers were ambushed, believe one village shot and another quickly wounded. Elizabeth Stringer Kiefer, professor at Leslie University in Cambridge, Massachusetts, used social media to connect to a man with a photo that went sat in his desk at the 77th floor of the World Trade Center as women who treated 9-11 photo. She started crying. Ian Phoenix, six months after a promise of great transparency and accountability when its agents used deadly force and customs and border protection, continued to struggle to deliver on both courts. A recent wobbly stretch in both stocks about may persist for a short term in the U.S. In Glasgow, Scotland, thousands of independent supporters took the streets of Scotland's largest city, Glasgow, on Sunday as polls showed that rival camp was running desperately close just five days before a referendum which could bring the Scotland independence. As iPhone 6 pre-order mania continues, a growing number of people are looking for ways to get rid of their old iPhone prefer with some money they used to buy in the new version. The Moto X grows up a bit but did not Improving in all the right places last year, where the Moto X was announced by Motorola, it got a lot of skepticism. And an updated version of Apple's popular iPod MP3 player was introduced, featuring a larger hard drive and a new software than Mac World Conference and Expo in New York on July 17, 2002. Toronto, a World War II cold breaker film starring Benedict Cumberbatch has won the top prize at the Toronto International Film Festival. Someone from Middle County was banned to win Hollywood's weekend buck off this race. The Spars have finished on top. Will Packer, not Will the winner of the Dolphin. And Emmy Winehouse was honored with a bronze statue made in her likeness on Sunday, September 14th, by what would have been the Grammy winning rehab singer's 31st birthday. The European Space Agency is about to release more details in the dacious bid to try to land on a comet. Since early August, this bit of that probe has been. In close proximity to 67 PICG, a 10 billion ton mass of ice and dust some 40 million kilometers on Earth. Finches are once renowned bird species that would be appearing in massive formations of the Sandia crest close to Albuquerque have started drooling in the numbers. Library hit hardest of countries that set up an evil outbreak in Liberia present appeals to Obama for help and first female Sierra Leone doctor to contract Ebola dies. That puts caterpillar to make a loop. Apparatus is the most poisonous caterpillar in the United States and stings from the tiny caterpillars have sent children in the North Carolina and Virginia to hospitals and counters are being reported elsewhere. Waltham police are investigating a Saturday night home invasion during which a resident was pistol whipped by a pair of thieves posing as members of the FBI. British Stoke County District Attorney Sam Sutter has appointed as possible prosecutor probe alleged intimidation by Ball River Mayor. We'll find again with a gun. Investigators, along with the family members of Susan 
Tascripts are helping with renewed calls for the Black 1992. Unsolved murder of the Saugus woman. Blackstone town officials say cleanup of the home where the bodies of three infants were found mid piles of debris is going in at the slow pace. And the name is Barry Massachusetts man is rescued from Matt Washington and as the 40 said the father and one of the sons then got into an argument and they separated from the last part of the trail. Okay, let's take a look at the traffic situation here. Route 3 on the northbound side, a little slow from 53 in Hanover to Derby Street in Hingham. But otherwise, a very smooth sailing commute on this Sunday evening here. And let's take a look what is going on in the weather situation here. Temperature at North Massachusetts, 65 degrees. Our temperature with fair skies. Humidity, 56%. Wind speed is calm. Barometer, 3.17 inches. 2.49 degrees. And visibly, you have 10 miles. And before we take a look at our current conditions, New England incident alerts here. In Baltimore, Georgia, Mountain Road, County Sheriff's Deputy Michael Norris was shot and killed today as he responded to a call of an armed suicidal man as in. And his partner approached in the man's house. The suspect opened fire, struck both of them both. Anthony New Northwest transported to local hospital where he later died of his wounds. The partner remains in unknown condition here. And for anyone who will be in or going to Northbrook, Massachusetts on Monday or Tuesday, be aware that Special Brent Arsenal's military funeral will be taking place over the two days. And Vice President Biden will be here for it as so expect travel delays on Monday and Tuesday if you're in the Northbrook area. And in Sharon, Massachusetts, working fire on one Victor Circle on one and a half. Story wood frame construction in Boston, Massachusetts. B O L O for a great pickup 392 XN3. Elderly operator flood and motor vehicle accident at Bennington at Saratoga last scene on Main Street in Winford. Okay, let's take a look at our current edition Grand Region here at 638. Our temperature here is 64 degrees of temperature right now here in Boston, Massachusetts. We got 62 out in Bedford and Billy and Gloucester in Haverhill, 64 in Fitchburg, 59 in Worcester, 61 in Sturbridge, 63 for Webster, 66 in Milford, 65 in Norwood and Taunton, 64 in New Bedford, 59 in Plymouth and Falmouth and Chatham, 57 in Providence Sound, 60 in Cape Cod Bay, 61 in Marfa's Vineyard, 59 in Nantucket, 66 in Block Islands, 65 in Wesley, 66 in Prominent 63 in Smithfield, 66 in Montauk, 66 in his slip, 67 in New York City, 65 in Long Island, 69 in Bridgeport and New Haven, at 63 in Denbury, 61 in Waterbury, 66 in Meriden, and in Windsor Lock, 67 in Hartford, 65 in Springfield, 66 in Amherst, 62 out in Greenfield, 61 in Gardner, Massachusetts, it's 55 in Pittsfield, 56 in North Adams, 69 in Albany, New York, it's 57 in Mayton, 55 in Bradbury, 61 in Keene. 59 in Jefferson, New Hampshire, 59 in Congo, New Hampshire, 58 in Manchester, New Hampshire, 63 in National New Hampshire, and it's 61 in Portland, New Hampshire, and it's 61 in Portland, Maine. Here, current conditions around the region, around the nation here, stationary flight through the Gulf of Mexico, and merging with coast front from the Panhandle, stretching in, up the Atlantic seaboard here, and a stationary front from Washington State down for Idaho and Wyoming, and down through northeastern Colorado, down for Kansas, and a cold front from Nebraska, stretching up to Iowa, down for western Wisconsin, and pink front. Crossbury Lake, Superior, and Southwestern Ontario, and 
a Sage Pipe from South Face Manitoba to Western Ontario. Where? For the buy with a low pressure up in Northern Quebec. For the buy from Southern Nevada down to the Gulf of California. And for the buy from Eastern Utah. We got high pressure in Eastern Illinois. In the Virginias, Western Texas, and Southeastern Oregon. And then low pressure in Southeastern Colorado. Then on the Southwest Wyoming. And then Southwestern Ontario. Ontario. Where? 65 degrees of temperature right now in Pittsburgh. 73 out of Washington, D.C. 74 in Atlanta. 87 in Miami. 79 in Brownsville, Texas, 77 in Dallas, Texas, 71 in Kansas City, Missouri, and Omaha, Nebraska, 64 in Minneapolis, 65 in Detroit, 65 in Chicago, 63 in Detroit, 63 in Great Falls, Montana, 82 in Seattle, 72 in San Francisco, 82 in Los Angeles, 99 in Las Vegas and Phoenix, Arizona, 80 in Albuquerque, New Mexico, 86 in Salt Lake City, and 75 in Denver. Here. Take a look at our map situation around the Country shows line of rain shots from Western Quebec and switching out to Northern Ontario and end up in the Northern Great Lakes. And line of rain shots from seven minutes or down for East Central portions of South Dakota area. And line of rain shots off the North Carolina coastline. And the line of showers and storms from South and South Carolina down for seven Georgia that covered much of Florida and down the Gulf of Mexico. And line of rain shots from Western Texas and Western Oklahoma stretching it down to Central areas of New Mexico and up in the Colorado and up in the Southern Wyoming here. And spotty rain shots in Southwestern portions of North Dakota here. Satellite loop beer. And it shows Atlanta clouds coming from southern New England and searching the Atlantic seaboard and down the Gulf of Mexico. And Atlanta clouds coming from Mexico, searching much of Texas, Oklahoma, stretching up to the Falkland region and about in Africa, California, stretching down from Nebraska up in uh, up in Mississippi Valley, and then stretching from Northern Birch coming in that Elbert, stretching down through the Atlantic Canada here. And line of go from California down to Nevada here. Alright. Let's take a look. What is <coughs> Let's see what's going on in the tropics there. Okay, let's take a little part public discussion here. Fall like weather for across much of the nation. Unsettled weather for the Gulf Coast of Florida and dry weather for the Western United States. Front Tuesday, a large surface high is controlled the weather pattern across much of the country, with many states enjoying pristine fall like conditions and with a strong high cover in most of the central and eastern parts of the United States. The majority of locations during the forecast period should enjoy cool and dry weather. Quiet weather is expected for the West Coast by early next week with no major weather systems expected here. Farmer South of the Warbur and more humid air bass. There will be scattered showers and thunderstorms due to the Gulf Coast and the flow dependence of locally every wind will be possible in the areas where it's effective activity is persistent and showers and occasional storms are likely over western Texas and in the southern Rockies. With moisture flow, northward from Mexico and showers are also likely across parts of the upper Midwest and the Great Lakes region as the upper level trail access moves throughout the region here. And take a look at Hurricane Edward here. It is now an 85 mile per hour wind. It's a Category 1 hurricane here. And it's at a location 25.4 to the north, 52.1 to the west. And moving west off, it's about 14 miles per hour. And it's going to be moving out to sea. It's going to come about a Category 1 and Cat 2 storm. And then moving out to sea. Completely missing the eastern seaboard of the United States and Atlantic Canada here as Edward strengthens a little more here. And there'll be no close to watch the warnings in effect. And at 5 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time 20 UTC, the center of Hurricane Edward was located in the United States 225.4 in the north, non 252.1 in the west. And Edward is moving toward the west, northwest, through 14 miles by 22 kilometers an hour. And the motion is toward the northwest and north, northwest at a slightly slower port speed as expected on Monday. Maps are saying winds have increased in the near 85 miles per 140 kilometers an hour with higher gusts and additional strength in this forecast and the Edward could become a major hurricane Monday night or Tuesday. Hurricane force winds extend out with up to 50 miles 30 kilometers from the center and tropical storm force winds extend out with up to 140 miles 220 kilometers an hour. Edward minimum minimum the pressure 92 millibars or 29 inches. And take a look at Eastern Pacific gear.
The latest on down. It's 21.1 in the north, 108.9 to the west here. And Max the same winds 125 miles per hour. Movement north, northwest by 15 miles per hour. And the latest advisory on Odile here is a major hurricane. Odile is expected to affect Southern Baja, California tonight and Monday here. All providers acted to protect life and property should be rest to completion here. Changes with this advisory, none a summary of watches and warnings in effect. A hurricane warning is effect for Baja Cover Surf from Punta Abreos to La Paz. A hurricane watch is effect for the west coast of Baja Cover Surf from north of Punta Abreos to Punta Eugenia. The east coast of Baja Cover Surf from north to La Paz to Laredo. A tropical warning is effect for the coast of mainland Mexico from Manzillo to Chapo Corrientes and the east coast of Baja Cover Surf from north of La Paz to Santa Brasilia. A tropical watch is effect for the east coast of Baja Cover served from the north of San Jose to Baja San Juan Batista. Hurricane warning means that hurricane conditions are affected somewhere within the warning area by Monday morning and preparations to protect life and property should be rich to completion. A hurricane watch means that hurricane conditions are possible within the watch area and a watch is typically issued 48 hours before the anticipated first occurrence of trouble storm force winds and conditions that make outside preparation difficult and dangerous here. A top storm warning means that Trump's home conditions are expected somewhere within the morning area, and Trump's home watch means that Trump's home conditions are possible within the watch area and generally within 48 hours. And interest elsewhere in the Baja Capital Peninsula should continue to monitor the progress of Odal. And for some information specific to your area, please monitor the products issued by your local natural meteorological service here. At 2 Pacific Town, 2018, say the center of line for the major hurricane Odal was located by the Air Force Reserve Reconnaissance Aircraft, New Latitude 21.1 and North Longitude 108.9 and West. Odell is moving toward the north northwest with 15 miles by 24 kilometers an hour wind, and this is general motion is expected during the next day or two. And on the forecast track, the core for Odell will pass near or over the southern portion of the Baja Capital Sur today and Monday. The reports for the Kansas aircraft indicate that maximum same winds are near 125 miles by 25 kilometers an hour with higher gusts, and Odell is a strong category 3 hurricane on the Stafford Simpson hurricane wind scale. Some slight streaming is possible overnight, and Odell could become a category 4 hurricane again for approaches. Southern Baja Cover Sur and gradual weakening is forecast to begin Monday night and then continue to Tuesday. Odal is a large hurricane. The hurricane force wind extended up to 50 miles, 85 kilometers up from the center. It drops to a fourth wind expected up to the 185 miles, 295 kilometers out of the middle of the sun pressure. It's made from hurricane hydro aircraft observations at 922 bars with 27.23 inches and has an effect on that hurricane. Conditions are expected in war. Hurricane water there beginning tonight and now possible in hurricane watch area late Monday and the top zone conditions are expected to spread from northward across. Baja Capital Sur, in event that the hurricane conditions later in the day to that Trump storm conditions are possible with the Trump storm watch area by Monday night. Trump storm conditions are likely still occurred along the coast of mainland Mexico in the warning area, but should begin in a minute. Later than that, Trump surge and dangerous storm surge expected to produce significant coastal flooded areas of onshore winds and the hurricane warning area due to coastal surge will be accompanied by large destructive waves that surf swells from or now will affect pressures at the southwestern coast of Mexico during the next couple of days that are beginning to affect. Several points of the Rabaha Cavern Minister and the Southern Gulf of Cavern this was elected to cause life, further surf and wind current conditions, and please conduct products by your local weather office here. And Reef all, all down expected to produce maps up to 5 to 10 inches with a fascinated about some 15 inches of Baja Cavern Observed with especially in Montreal Strait. Some heavy rainfall beds will also move from the Mexican center to Calima and western Jalisco and western Mucacan. And these rates are likely to result in life threatening flash floods and mudslides here. And it is on 16E here. It is 15.6 to the north, 113.4 to the west. The maximum same winds, 35 miles per movement. East north is about 8 miles an hour here. And our latest on trouble depression, 16E here. Depression moving east north east with a forecast of the Spain on Monday here. And if our no coastal watches the water is affected at 2 p.m. Pacific time, 12 with a UTC, the center of trouble depression, 16E was located here. Latitude 50.6 to the north, longitude 113.4 to the west, and the depression is moving toward the left east north face near 8 miles by 30 kilometers out of the turn to the northeast expected to that of the Max is named with the marine near 35 miles by 55 kilometers out with higher gusts, and the depression is expected to dissipate on Monday when it moves into unfavorable environmental conditions. It's made minimum of the depression is 1,006 millibars or 29 per cent 1 inches there. And the surface number one here in the eastern Pacific border of low pressure located somewhat about south by the Gulf of T1 Tibet continues to produce 
This overnight shards of thunderstorms are probably digital. Expect to be conducted for gradual development of the system during the next several days. Well, it moves slowly toward the north west and the formation checks in four hours. Medium about 30% of the formation checks five days. High 70%. Here. And let's take a look. Kind of sense to put trouble out look here. And it's an area of shots and tons of with a trail of low pressure located about 13 and 50 miles west southwest of Honolulu, Hawaii. There would be a low pressure for development in this system as it moves west slowly formation chance for four hours. Low 10%. There. And take a look at what I note there. Tonight slows we're going to see in the 30s from much of northern New England there to around the 40s and 50s from much of southern New England there. So, there'll be a frost advisory tonight for western Massachusetts up at the southern one and the rapture in the western mains as have outdoor plants, cover sets of outdoor plants, harvest and protect tender vegetation, move part of plants indoors here. And tomorrow's highs, not for western Boston, you can see 67 to 70 degrees, western county you can see 66 to 70 degrees, south shore 67 to 72 degrees in Cape Island, 64 to 69 degrees. And morning child on Tuesday here. So take a look at our seven day forecast. It goes like this here. Today, most of the clouds got low, 43 degrees, like northwest wind. Monday, sky skies at 70 degrees. It's called way because of the northwest round, 5 miles by the afternoon. Monday night, check the shots made after 5 a.m. Moon cruise clouds were low, 47 degrees, a lot south wind. Check the precipitation, 30 percent new principal about to less than 10 inch possible. For Tuesday, showers like the day before noon, most clouds got at 6 degrees, and called way because of west round, 6 miles by the afternoon. Check the precipitation, 72 percent. New person went back to between the 10th quarter and after each possible. So tonight, Park Lots got low 46 degrees and Northwest would about 3 to 6 miles apart. Wednesday, Santa Cruz, there's 71 degrees. One that, most of the got low 46 degrees. Thursday, most of the Santa Cruz, there's 68 degrees. Thursday, that, Park Lots got low 41 degrees. Friday, Santa Cruz, there's 65 degrees. Friday, that, most of the got low 41 degrees. Saturday, Santa Cruz, there's 65 degrees. Saturday, that, Park Lots got low 51 degrees. For Sunday, Park Lots got low 65 degrees. Peter's, what a phrase of the evening, a chilly night in store, and a marvelous Monday in store. PJ would say you have a good evening with a good positive attitude. I'll see you for a late night report. Have a good evening with a good positive attitude.